Um. Yeah. Last position though could change the course of action. Gotta watch out for Gastney being a one point hold. This section. This is a section two point hold. Uh, split Russia. Oh my God, White's cap. It was great. Great. Welcome in Sahin U88. You guys don't know this Wednesday. Well, it might be scheduled to change. The goal is on Wednesday that I'm posting the vlog to Pete's house, but that could change based on uh, the one I already uploaded to my YouTube has been copyrighted, so we might have to redo it. Uh, I'm going to go here. Yeah. So watch out for that. I'm not really sure if it's going to be Wednesday now, but I think we're still trying to push for that Wednesday vlog. Here it goes first. Good to see he's adding on the outside. Can't wait to see the part where someone suicides and uh, accuses accuses me or accuse them of uh, stream sniping. <laughs> All right, so we got blue and trees. We got white in the bottom. We got orange in the top. Good morning. Hey, what's up, guys? Oh boy. White's cap is terrible. Very bad. We don't see Ana Lucia, so someone could be there. White's taking his time. Orange is probably going to take it immediately. Good dice. Good. He's taken that. That's good dice. He's left with a seven on cap. Okay. <laughs> Gamble. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna go back into this noob corner. Hope no one's back here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh no, dude. Oh no. <laughs> oh shoot. Why? Why must there be bigger noobs than me? How dare you? <laughs> you didn't even see my cap yet. You had no idea it was there. Voice. Someone indeed was back there. <laughs> oh my god. This is just a fantastic day. Oh, it's a good start. Well, what we need to do now is block green. You told me to cap with a four. No, you did not. Shut the frick up, Carter. You never said that. What's white getting a six? Blue getting nine. Red getting ten. Orange getting ten. He has that. And territory count. Orange is looking at 15 territories. Because that is a three plus bonus. 
We're going to go for France and hope Green's not around to mess with me. The best part about this is green is right before me. So if he hits my cap, it's fine. As long as he fails. Because then I'll be right after to take everything from him. Everything. Yes, that's a thing. And if you continue it, you keep getting 450 more Brubux. Four-way fork. Green's going to try to remove me from the outside. He's going to get removed from there anyway. It doesn't matter. I don't even think it makes sense to take an attack anywhere else but here. And I think that's all I do and I bring this back. Because if he's just going to attack on the outside, he's wasting his troops, right? He could be putting them on the inside. At the same time, he does need to be on the outside, but... People are going to remove him from the bottom right, like red. He is the one who's got Southeastern Europe. Oh, I'm not even going to take uh, France. Okay. Red sees my cap. He's getting 10. He's the one here in Southeastern. I think you mean four and a half bonks. Hey, what's up, Johnny? Welcome in. I am not the biggest noob. I... I am not the biggest. Oh boy. <laughs> no, Carter, because green's getting seven. Oh, eight. He's got territory count. That's why it's not possible to have a cap in Iceland. And since I'm in last position, I have the advantage here. I need to remove green from the outside, and that is the goal. White gets six. His cap is going to suck. He's in Russia for sure with a cap. Or no, 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 no. White was attacking in Russia. My bad. Surprised white isn't trying to take the bottom right at all or bottom left at all. He's just focusing other places. That's weird. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna take wait. I mean orange is helping me remove green. This is good. Green's still getting eight. He's going to try to remove me. There's no point in him adding over. He added everything. Wow. Oh, he's just attacking everything, huh? Wow. He's got some guts. He's got barely anything on cap behind now. Yeah, we'll take it. We're going to have to just remove this. Oh, boy. <laughs> Look at those caps. Oh, shoot. Okay, I really weakened myself doing that. And red's getting 19. 
Holy crap. Red's getting 19, guys. Red's getting what he wants. I'm surprised blue didn't break red right away, seeing that cap and where it's at. I definitely would have broken red. Red's holding Italy, Spain, and Southeastern Europe. Blue, there's no way you don't break him. This is outrageous. Did he get it the last turn? No. He grabbed two more bonuses. <laughs> Holy frick. They're just letting this happen. I needed to remove green. I really did. It's just card and pass from here now. I could have taken this bonus, but it didn't matter because green was right here. He just would add everything in there and try to remove and try to attack me. It's better just to remove him. Hey, Becky. Now orange sees. Yeah, he's in trouble. And you see red's getting 19 a turn, like, you know. <laughs> oh, green's getting nine. If he holds that bonus, I am dead. I am definitely dead. There's no way there's another cap in Iceland. It's not possible. A lot of troops for red. Oh. And red keeps holding. Wow, no one's no one's trying to break red at all. I can't do it because then he'll target me. Right now he's focused on orange at the moment. No one's no one's doing anything to red. Red's literally got like split bonuses and no one's attacking him. That is crazy. Everyone's completely chill with the fact that red's holding three bonuses. <laughs> what the heck? Orange did not need to skip. He did not have to. What the heck, man? Oh my god, he's holding it. Bro, he's holding Orient. They're just letting him have it. What? Oh, and green's breaking red. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. As you can see, red did get broken. He's at 15 instead of 19. He's definitely going to want to hit green back, that's for sure. So we got we got caps in Denmark, Bavaria, Triest, Sahara, here, here. That is the best case scenario. Red clears green. I would not be surprised if green tried to hit my cap, though. That's the only downside here.
Red's a pretty smart player the way he's playing. He's already like started car blocking orange. It's kind of early for that. I truly think that it's not worth it at the moment, but it will be eventually. I just don't think it's worth it right now. Cause he's not doing anything now, right? Yeah, that's true. If he's cleared, he has to hit my cap. I don't think he's completely cleared. Okay, so white's getting seven. He has territory count. Blue still getting nine. That's all he's got is his bonus. He's just chilling. He's just letting do them what, what the, letting them do what they want. He puts everything in the bottom. Oh shoot. He's probably gonna start doing some stuff now. Yep. Finally starting to remove the whole pocket. He just cleared out the pocket, that's it. So red no longer has Italy. Orange card skips. Orange is probably card skipped now and he can't get any bonus. He can't get cards now for real. Green getting seven, 17. He has a chance to win that roll. No, he still has another position. Yeah, he's got another position on the outside still. Okay. Red definitely has the best cap in this game at the moment. As such, worst case scenario, green rolls my cap next turn. I don't think he can do anything though. I think he is fricked. Red definitely did lose Italy. Yep. And red does not have Southeastern. Green starting with seven makes it clear that he lost his Orient and a lot of territory. Red does not break me. Okay. All right. And we can attack Italy now if we want. Green will get car blocked. He does have another card though. That's not something we gotta make sure we would think about is that he has that extra card. Blue gets, he took, Blue's the one who took Southeastern. Okay. That is good. That means Red's got to worry about Blue because Blue's the only cap on the right side besides Red's 26 cap. So that's going to make Blue have to, or Red have to worry about Blue. So Red will probably 1v1 Blue later in. As he's also focusing on Orange. The thing is, I think red car blocking orange is not the right move because orange is going to stack and he'll be able to pull out sometime and just absolutely obliterate red. Because orange is getting eight a turn, right? It's not going to be worth it for a while to kill him because he's on cap. Eventually have enough troops to just pull out and just stack right next to his cap. Orange is smart, taking his turns quick, yeah? Thank you, Tim, for the subscription. Yeah, man. I'm back to regular schedule program.
White's not going to clear out the corner. Interesting, Red's pulling back. See, Orange gets 8. That's a 9v6. I think if I'm Orange, I'd take that risk. And there's no way Red can kill Orange. He's definitely too big on cap. Unless it's pulled, unless he's pulled out, of course. Hey, Sam, how's it going? White getting nine. What is white holding? Territory count? North Africa? Maybe. What is blue getting? 14? He's expanding. He's got more than 12 territories, so he's expanding into other places. White definitely has North Africa. There's no other explanation besides territory count, which is outrageous for that to have. Yeah, orange rolls it. Yep, that makes sense. Green sets. He puts it on the outside. Okay. We're going to do that. Since white isn't going to take his bonus yet, we're just going to attack in it then. Red, you cannot kill him. There's no way. He suicided. That, yeah. <laughs> no? He faked. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's no way you're going to kill him. He's definitely too strong. Yeah, white white just wants his cap open. No? Oh, okay. Alright, I guess I shouldn't have taken a card in there. Oh, he's gonna expand all the way to Gascony. Okay. Wow, didn't see that coming. Did I die to orange? I don't think I will. But it is not impossible. With me being the last to trade in, I will be fine. He's going to go explore. Now that my cap's open, I will not block it. Also point out, white stack is off cap. 56 troops off cap. Green's cap is very weak.
Um, I'm gonna do it with a trade. If it's too big, it's fine. Green's gonna probably stack like almost everything on the outside and then uh try to keep that cap as big as possible without you know without it being too small for the trade in to take it i guess i don't know i just gotta be lucky you know that with the trades White sets on three. He has an exterior position, which is interesting. He's getting 22 a turn. Red's only getting five. He's lost his bonuses. Green's stabbing at the other players over here. Breaking their bonuses is a mistake for Green, for real. Yeah, Green's going to be very cautious about his capital. That's smart. My goal will just be to remove him from the exterior. He's playing this well, but I'm going to have to remove him eventually. And if not, someone else will remove him too. Him trading in early was a mistake. It's a big mistake. I'm going to try to get into a position out here. Oh boy. Well, bad dice. What do you know? White the green keeps getting cards, so he knows he we know he's on the outside. Because he's still getting seven. And that means he has Iceland. Hey, what's up, Ian? Welcome in Lan. Oh, Lan, sorry. I'm gonna have to hit this. I'm gonna. I can go through now. This is good. Okay. I don't want to make blue mad, but I need another position. And white can't kill me because I'll end my turn on five, and he'll have two cards, and he'll take a third card before. He'll take his third card and won't get another turn until my fifth, right? So I'll be fine. Yeah, no one's in Iceland. No one else is in. It's definitely just green. But as soon as green gets removed from the outside, he's done. He's he's lost. And that's what the other players are going to do, and I don't have to do anything about it. Because I know they're probably going to be mad about him. And just go after him. Hey, what's up, Swam? Welcome in. Notice how red stopped trying to block orange. I'm sure he might do it now, but I bet orange is stacking a lot on the outside.
Queen puts everything inside this time and takes a card on the right. Pulling troops this way. Take a three. Oh, he thinks he can kill me. I'm gonna give the Yanni Mo. Yep. Opens up the board. I can't die, so. Unless someone suicides into me. He, he gave me more cards, though, so. I mean, that's fine. Someone's got the suicide into me to give me to someone else. That's the only way, but I'm playing expert plus right now. Those of you guys who are here, who are here, on Wednesday, I'm posting a vlog of my trip to Pete's, and I want you guys to know, so you guys can go watch it on Wednesday when I post it. See, in Red, from Red's perspective here, what you should be doing when you're trying to kill someone is looking directly at their biggest stack immediately and not attacking everything else and then going to it, right? That is the biggest thing you should know, is attack the biggest thing first, check to see what you can do before going and making a move like that. Because he wasted a lot of troops attacking all those territories, even split to hit that. If he went up here and checked this, it'd be like a straight line going through, except for maybe the one, but that's it. Okay, horses. That's all I'm doing. Yeah, I know. What is the green cap? It's so dumb. It is so dumb. He was trying to kill me. Gamble, he was definitely trying to kill me. I had five cards. Lee doesn't like that was breaking him. Give him a well played. <laughs> Oh, I did not know about green when I placed my cap. And green didn't know about me until I attacked up. So. Green's cap is absolute noobery. I thought my cap was a noob cap. Look at him. He's a bigger noob than I am. White trades in. 
He's getting a lot per turn. White could be concerning. Did green just skip, guys? Did green skip? Holy frick, did he skip? Oh, shoot. It might be over for him. He didn't place all of his troops there, though. Wow. Yeah, you should assume that I'm still there with the cap because he hasn't attacked forward and he saw me stack, attack back with a 12 stack. So he, he probably assumes there's a cap on London based on that. But green and black are both GM caps for sure. Green's dead. He's done for. He needed to set on three and he's not taking a fourth card. Because that's probably all of him. Eventually green will die. Sets are bigger than his cap, so all it takes is a set on five to a set on three to kill him, right? <laughs> uh i don't think so it is possible but unlikely it's very unlikely what are you going to do when you are not saving the world. Okay. Orange has not botted. Does nothing. Green is pretty smart. I'm going to have to kill him. <laughs> well, the best thing we can hope for is maybe get a um, trade on three. Because I'm going to set, put everything next to him. And hope for a set on three to kill him. And if not, maybe a set on four. 100% I'm going to try to kill him. I mean, it would be sad if I uh, missed the kill, right? Red's attacking a lot. Red getting 13? He's holding uh, something. I'm going to go take a gander.
this turn. White has nothing on cap in the bottom left. stack idols oh my god carter thank you for the 100 bits but <laughs> frick you i mean this is intense because i'm gonna try to make a move on green but white's kind of making it difficult at the moment because white could try to set on three and hit me because it looks like he's definitely trying to go for me right now It definitely looks that way. Why is orange skipping? He hasn't botted yet. Oh, he's botted now. Well, frick. That's unfortunate for me. Do I have a set on three? I do. Green's dead. Unless white makes a move on me. This is the worst thing that can happen is white sets and does something to me. I mean, I can save green's kill. Yeah. But I have to hit his cap because he's getting those extra troops, right? White set on three. He's going to look at it. Yeah. No? Okay. It's better to get rid of green sooner rather than later because... Because he's just going to keep stacking there and do nothing. So it's going to be a problem. Green sets on three. That would be crazy. Like, I would have set on three already if I was him. I would have just done it immediately and just sat there. 69 viewers. And the reason why I would have set it in already, because I, would I would have wanted to make sure... No. If orange goes off cap, I'm not even open. It doesn't matter. Wow. I, I mean, it's a huge kill if he went for it, right? Laughing, and of course he has it.
All right. Well. Here we go, guys. Oh, boy. <laughs> he even laughs, too. He's a good player. I think we're going to have to try to kill him eventually. Um, I'm definitely... He's probably going to get second place. Well, good job, Johnny. We're going to be here a while with this green player. I would love to give green fifth place right now, but I can't. Or sixth place. I wanted to do it. I'm surprised orange hasn't attacked off the bot. I guarantee White's gonna check my my cap out now because he thinks I'm weak. He'll probably think he can kill me, maybe. Move my cap, please. Nope. Frick. I'm not trading with green. And plus trades need to get a lot bigger. I'm thinking like 500 plus. Before I even do something like that. Deserve second? No, gamble. No. I would never say that. I mean, come on, look at his cap. You can't tell me he should get second based on that. So. He's played well with it, but his cap choice was terrible. So, see this green orange is doing nothing, attacking off. If I was green, I'd be taking cards. Yeah. No, 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 I don't know what I'm saying. Just ignore me. You have a joker. Hey, look at that. Oh, baby. No, there's no point. There's no point in trying to smack him now. He's bigger than we want him to be before we could do anything about it. No, it's kind of too late. We're going to have to wait a while before it's even, you know, worth it. It's never going to be worth it from this point on. Well, White's interested in what the heck's going on. I can make a separate position now. I live for chaos.
I am getting the biggest trades, and that's huge for me. Orange is still a bot, and yet not attacking off cap into red. That is interesting. Causing chaos on the outside. 17 a turn. White getting 24, blue getting 13. Still has Southeastern and Daenerik. Red getting 5 with nothing. Okay. I have one of the biggest stacks on the board, that is for sure. I'll get a refill real quick. We all live for chaos. I'll have to break white, unfortunately. Interesting to see that white always trades in early. Giving me bigger sets. Surprised they haven't removed orange from the exterior out there. Might want his bonus back. I'll go look around on this next trade. See what's going on down there.
Are these the meta settings? I never called it the meta settings. Pete did. I just like to play him a lot. And other people liked him a lot as well. Pete just one day made a YouTube video about it and called it in his title, the meta settings. Um, they're also really good for a win rate. People like, people on YouTube like it. People on, in risk the game like it. And if you go to, where else? Classic progressive? No. The best settings. The best settings for risk is manual fog blizzards. Manual setup fog at blizzards. Caps. Progressive. Best settings in risk. You'll guarantee yourself a cap that's really good. And if you make all the right decisions, you can win every time. Guaranteed. If you make all the right decisions, you can win every single time. Manual setup, classic, progressive. Any map with a low amount of... Uh, the only bad thing that could happen is... Uh, someone feeding the game so if everyone if no one feeds the game and you get into the late game past the fourth or fifth sets you're guaranteed that you can win the game every single time as long as there's no snowball early <clears throat> we'll go look around now Interesting. Oh, shoot. Thank you. <laughs> Oh boy. Thank you for the raids, you don't know. Oh, thanks to you, Dono. Doing very well, yeah. All right now we got the orange bot rampaging. It's gonna be hard to keep a position out there. That's how the bot is acting. Blue's trying to keep a position over here. If I can keep a position in rush, I'll be fine.
Okay. So we got orange in Denmark. I bet orange has come off cap now, but he's too big that red would never want to hit that for a minute. White's looking around. Okay. White wants to look around then, huh? This song is from uh, Man of Steel, 2013. I mean, a steel is just another word. It's another name for Superman. They just have so many, so many Superman movies out there already that they had to call it like it's something different. So it's called Man of Steel. VIP grind is real. <laughs> How is everyone still alive? Because Kareen. Green chose a bad cap and did well with how he did in the early game. He had a set on three to keep him alive. I was going to kill him, but he had a set on three, so I couldn't do anything. And now he's just sitting there card skipping. If I ever get the chance to kill Green, I think I'll take it. How's the 2v2s going? Um, I've only played one so far, and that's what you've seen is posted. Oh, shoot. Frick. That's annoying. We're playing some more this week on Wednesday. So I think I'll be posting that on Thursday or Friday. Oh, you're going to give it to him. Oh, that's okay. Don't give him any.
You really looked up Man of Steel for Spider-Man. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Lights over here. Put that there. I have an exterior. Red is smart about this because he wants, he only takes the certain cards. He knows he'll get the cards back. He knows which ones to take. I think it's red as a player we need to watch out for, especially seeing that he immediately tried to car block orange early. I looked up the best superhero, and number one is Wolverine. And number two is Batman. Number three is uh, X-Men. Number four is Spider-Man. Number five is War Chat. Number six is Elastigirl. Number seven is Deadpool. I'm surprised by that order. Hey, what's going on, Spanish ball one dude? <laughs> I looked it up on uh, Bing. <laughs> Based. All right, let me try Google. Best superheroes. Batman. Batman is coming up as number one in on Google. Uh, another th another thing is saying Superman. Who is the number one superhero? Superman is... But another thing is saying... Wait, wait, this is actually a good one. Let me check out this link. Okay, this is top 20 in order from this link called... Top 20 superheroes of all time from Watch Mojo. They're very big on making top uh, 10, top 20 stuff. Watch Mojo is saying number 20 is Deadpool, number 19 is Supergirl, number 18 is The Punisher, number 17 is Green Arrow, number 16 The Human Torch. If you don't know who The Human Torch is, watch Fantastic Four. 
Um, number 15, Martian Manhunter. He's not, he's only in one movie right now, and that's Zack Snyder Cut of the Justice League. Martian Manhunter. If you want to see a good photo or uh, what he looks like, he can transform into, uh, he's like Superman, but he has more powers. That's the best way to know what he's like. Number 14 is Aquaman. Number 13, Daredevil. Number 12, Robin. Also Nightwing. So Batman and Robin. Robin is also Nightwing. Um, number 11 is the Hulk. Number 10 is the Flash. Number 9 is Thor. Number 8 is Green Lantern. Number 7, Captain America. Number 6, Wonder Woman. Number 5, Iron Man. Number 4, Wolverine. Number 3, Superman. Number 2, Spider-Man. And number 1, Batman. That's That actually looks like the right order. Number one being Batman, number two Spider-Man, number three Superman. That looks like a good order. Number four is Wolverine. There's a lot of movies about Wolverine though, so I don't blame that. He's hitting white. Interesting. Thank you, Angel, for the subscribe. Yeah, Green Arrow was all right. I don't think it's amazing. I like Green Lantern better, to be honest. I'm sure White's not happy about Red did what Red just did. Red doesn't, or white doesn't hate me, so I'm good. Red, you literally just hit white out of the top right. <laughs> He's like confused. What the frick? Yeah, this is expert plus. If I wanted to kill green right now, I could just pull off cap and stack it all on him. White's in trouble. Oh, shoot. Only legends will understand. Batman is the most liked superhero of all time. I don't know if you guys knew that. To this day. You go back and look at all the shows and everything, the most liked superhero of all time. That means not the worst.
Marvel does not own Spider-Man. Marvel was given the opportunity to Spider-Man. They never owned Spider-Man. Never. Never. Did Marvel own Spider-Man? Sony allowed Marvel to use Spider-Man. If you notice, there are movies out about Spider-Man, like Miles Morales. You know who that I'm talking about. That was made by Sony. All the movies that have Spider-Man in the Marvel movies, those were lent and allowed by Sony to be used. They never owned them. No. Uh, the original creator sold it to Sony, and Sony's owned it ever since. Okay, there you go. Marvel sold it in the 80s. Okay. Yeah, but they, they don't own Spider-Man right now. That's the biggest thing to understand. They don't own Spider-Man. Okay, they owned it in the past, okay. But they, they don't own it right now, and that's something people don't understand. Is Sony's allowing them to own him. Not own him, Sony's allowing Marvel to use it. <laughs> he wanted to play Spider-Man. That's funny. This is the first time I've ever seen White not treated early. He must have no set on four. Two hundred seven turns. Wow. Oh yeah, Lauren, you just need to leave. Don't waste your turn or don't waste your time because you can't. That game's it's glitched. You can't do anything about it. Th there's literally nothing you can do about that. Yeah, you, you've lost that game. Unfortunately, I think it's under for your stats. You've lost the game, but for the rank, you definitely got your rank. But don't worry about that. But you definitely won. You won the rank, but lost the game for statistics, if that makes sense. Planet Money made an interesting podcast about the history of Spider-Man ownership. If anyone is interested in the history of it. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah, your rank's fine. Your rank is fine. As long as you beat the other players, you your rank is okay. It's about it's about placement when it t comes to rank. And you definitely killed everyone else first, so Yeah, that's the best way to explain it. Thank you, Baldwin. It's like coming second to an AI in the game. But you still get your rank. It just kind of sucks, that's all. It's a glitch that's been going around a, a lot more frequently than usual. Orange is tired, or white's tired of orange. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, dude.
That's the first time there's been a two out of six in this whole game. I don't know if he kills him. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, dude. No set. No set. Please. Okay. Fourteen, he has Orient. I mean, getting rid of the bots good. Okay, I'm kind of regretting it now. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Man, green is determined, man. He's a determined Blair. Ah, oh, shoot, the bot trade. Well, frick. Who's Joe with me holding that because I opened his cab? I'm gonna be nice to blue and red, yeah.
I'll be back in five hours when it ends. Uh, I won't be here in five hours. I think White lost a lot when he hit Orange. I don't think White has this anymore. Red definitely took it. We'll find out this coming turn, though. Well, he did nothing, actually, so no. White's well, getting cards, though. I'm too salty for you, too. The frick? The heck is a name like that? I'm leaving this stack like it is, so I'm always over here. The only person who can remove me would be blue. I mean, red could still remove me, but he'd have to go through blue to do it. Oh, where are the other caps? Yeah, we got a cap on Denmark, a cap on Bavaria, a cap Trees, and a cap in Sahara. There's no cap on Gascony. White's just stacking. Red's still getting five. Yeah, white is. White's got the top, yeah. What do you know? Green is super determined for this game. Yeah, I've never seen issues like this yet with the crashing. I've seen a lot of games where they just, uh, they haven't ended. I even have a game up about that as well, about a game that where the game didn't end. I don't know what Blue's doing. He's acting like he wants Russia. The frick? I'm gonna need to put a set on that 334. No one's gonna try to kill Orange.
There's a trade. Spot's gonna be here forever then, huh? Jamie. What the frick? I've never seen him do that. It looked like he was going to poop. It, it literally looked like he was going to poop right there. What the heck? Okay. I'll just stay there. Ace Red wants that. Like he does. But then the orange bot's gonna come this way. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Orange bot's definitely gonna break that. More than likely. And White's stuck trying to fight the orange bot as well on the left side. Yeah, I think Blue might want to kill me the way he's playing. It's really weird. Blue doesn't know what to do here. Gonna attack red. I mean, I don't care, dude. You can break that. You can break it, man. I don't freaking care. White's getting the expensive cars, that's for sure. Um, he doesn't have cards, bro. And yep, orange broke like I thought would happen. Because red took the bonus. Oh boy. Yo. Did you see that fortify? Oh shoot. White lost the point hold. With zero cards, it's 100% worth it. Oh my gosh, Medi. How did you freaking know?
Yeah, you are, Mehdi. Well done. <laughs> The kill will eventually be worth it. But not right now. The trades are catching up to him. I got an idea. Yeah, of course, I will do that. Not not right now. Wait for trades to get big enough that I can just kill them. Is everyone still alive? Dude, Blue is a weird player, man. Do you not want to trade? <laughs> like, what? Trades are definitely catching up to it, though. I will kill green as soon as I can. I will do it. But it's got to be a reasonable kill, right? Wait until the trades are big enough, and they will be eventually, because over time, the trade he's getting 7 a turn. Every 3 turns, that's 21. But there are four, five people getting cards and trading. It's 25. So every four, every three turns is four extra troops that the trades are getting closer to his cap size. So he will lose in the long run. Because I'll be able to trade on five and then trade on three and kill him. And it, it obviously is not going to be worth killing him. Don't get me wrong. Well, yeah, but he's probably, he's very stubborn as it is right now. So I'm thinking I'll try. I will try to get cards out of him, but I don't think he's going to let me have cards. I think he'll stay in the game to make sure I don't get any. And if that's the case, I'll just kill him on three or I'll kill him on zero. I don't even care.
No, he won't buy it. He's very stubborn as it is right now. I don't think he's going to buy it. I think he's one of those players that will make sure he dies before he takes any cards. If he bots, great. I'll be great to take those three cards from him when he bots, but I'm not, you know what I mean? No one's bought it except for Orange. Orange bought it out. All right, so all you guys who are here right now, just reminding you that Wednesday I am posting a vlog about my trip to Pete's house on the YouTube channel. I want you guys to all know so that you do watch it. I'm trying to promote it as much as possible at the moment. This will be my first time posting a vlog, and I want to make sure that, you know, it was a freaking sick trip, and I'm sure you'd love to see Pete's setup at the end. And you'll get to see Digi. Digi is in the video. Digitalic. He doesn't post YouTube videos anymore, but he was there at the hangout. Oh, I did not. No, I did not get drunk. Red left. A little bit, yeah. But the vlog will be up on Wednesday. You guys want to watch it? That is on the 29th. No, I didn't. No. Oh my gosh, Mr. Absey. No. I was not wasted. What are you talking about? Blue didn't take a card in the. Oh, he's taking one. Oh, he's removing me. All right. Cool. Okay, that was super random. What the frick? What? Huh? Well, gamble, it's just confusing. I don't know why. Why did they take so long to make a move like that in the first place? Obviously, it's a good play, but like, why did they wait so long to do it? It makes no sense. And why did he do it then? What made him want to do it at this point? Good play, guys. Okay, chill. Alright, guys, chill. Chill. It makes no sense. He's scared that I'm going to break him. Then. Wow. Waited for the bot to get big enough to hurt. I mean, I'm just going to be able to trade with white.
Um, it's not really progressing that much right now. The frick is this music? Battlefield 4? Sounds good, what the heck? Yeah, Thanksgiving was great, dude. Thanks for the bits, bro. Blue really made himself weak to do that, too. I mean, it doesn't matter, but... They really hurt themselves when they let Orange Bot go into the rest of Af of uh, Europe and into Russia. That really hurt the their side of the map. When Red took that bonus and made the Orange Bot split off, that really hurt the game on that side. Gamble, of course. Of course. This is a good song. It's a remix. Oh, blue hit my external position. Please don't hit my position. Please don't, don't do it. Ah! I don't think I've played a game where all six players are still in the game and I'm having to fight the bot. This has got to be a first. I have to trade for my safety.
Yeah, might as well trade with green. And if that goes on, you know, they're fricked. So. I can argue that that play by blue makes sense. But if me and green figure out how to trade, this play is terrible. I think he's fricked if he, if me and green figure out how to trade. Yeah, I know white white's not that friendly. He's kind of on the, he's on a different side of it. We'll see if green wants to trade. I don't think he will, but we'll see. He just saw me skip, so. I mean, at this point, in this position, I'm not killing green. I want cards, so. Yeah, I know, because he could die. I understand. But I skipped, so maybe he trades. Who knows? White skips. Oh, boy. White's offline. Okay, that's good, because now white will hit orange. I could be wasting a lot of troops trying to hit green when he doesn't have any. Trading with green is the what makes sense here. So. And I'm not killing him is going to hurt me. And trying to do the trade behind, he'll just he'll either bot or I'm not sure. Yeah, he probably won't trade. I, I get it, but it's the best move I can do. Let's hope he will. Because hitting orange right now is bad. White is back, of course. Oh, of course. Oh, nice. Yeah, white bots out and then comes back. This is great. I can't believe how well played this game has gone to an extent. Kind of frustrating. Both red and blue played very well. Green as well. Oh my God, no way.
I will trade with him. I won't kill him because I have to hit a huge stack. Good game. It's over now. Let's see if he keeps going. He sees how big I am. I mean, he's going to have to get second. If this is how it goes, he's basically guaranteed second. At least. Now, because of blue, if this continues with me and green, because of blue, yeah, he's fricked. This doesn't end for a long time. This will be a very long game. Very, very long game. For sure. He's not going to do it. Green, come on. He's too scared. He gets to see my cap and he's, he's too scared. I mean, if he's going to make me pull off to kill him, I might have to. At some point, it makes sense for me to pull off my cap and just kill him. Because I can do it. Oh, thank you, Bo. Thank you, bro. No, not right now, Gamble. There we go. No, it's not worth it at the moment. White's going around, so we're good. I would be very, a lot much weaker if I did anything to orange. Remember, blue's a lot weaker because he hit me. He's probably around the same size now because I've skipped like three times now. So. And red's probably around 2,000. Of course, of course, I have to deal with the orange bot still. That is worth a card, though, I believe. Yep, it is worth a card. Yeah. Kill orange? I don't think that is feasible, dude. That should be good.
Red is probably the only one who knows if orange is a reasonable kill. We have two kills. We have two uh, caps now. So this is really good. This is expert plus. I started the lobby with a minimum of expert and up. You think he's dead? I mean, I'm not going to kill him. I want the cards. If he bots, I'm going to have to remove a couple territories, but that's it. No, he's still in the game. Oh boy. Orange never waiting till five. Yeah, we don't know what happened in the center, I agree. could have easily not traded with green and left him open. There was a one opportunity. White still has the top. He's not botting. It's possible white green has no idea what's going on, but it's also possible he's stream sniping. Just saying. It's not impossible he isn't, right? It's all fog for him if he's not sniping. White just skipped.
Johnny, <laughs> but on the other screen. Yona Kale and I'll let you guys look at that yourselves. These two. They're working together now. They have no reason to remove white. Obviously, I don't white white to bot, right? And he did. Now I need to remove him from being next to me. Yeah, I wonder as well what his external did as well. Hmm. Have to use the Joker again. We want this to be a thousand. Risky boy, apparently. What the heck? Gotta remove all this. No. It doesn't stack down here. Next to my capital. I'm a little worried about that position in Spain. Yeah, I'll probably do this drought with white. Like, that's no doubt. And I wouldn't mind if orange came down here as well, because I could also just trade with orange. Like, it doesn't matter, because I have a really good position for trading. I'd rather it not be orange, because he'll just stack on Rabat for a minute. But... I could still make my way for this. The strat is trading with the bot. That's the strat. You gotta do it cautiously. See, that was what I was worried about adding in Spain. Like I was fine with it adding in West Africa, but Spain, uh... I'm gonna have to hit a 36 for a card. Still worth it. Best game mode to rank up fast. World Dom, if you're looking for a fast rank up, it's basically just World Dom. I mean, it's the fastest games. Unless you're looking to play a guaranteed win every time. 
Prog Zombie is really good. Yeah, I agree with Hikaras. Prog Zombies works. Um, but if you're looking for a guaranteed win every time, you have to play Caps. You can get a guaranteed win every time if you play Caps on, on uh, Classic. As long as no one suicides or feeds the game, really. On the early stages, at least. You can still take the dub easy. Why not take a card in Spain as well? I don't have to. Gotta be watching out in case White comes back again. Remember, he's, this is his second time botting. Nice, more cards for me. Yeah, I, I only play progressive caps, bro. That's it. We got an easy two to attack. The only thing I don't like is like having the bot next to me down here. It'll start stacking and make it cards harder, but eventually the bot will have to hit orange in the top. I always have the option of killing green if I want to. Yeah, but I don't need cards at the moment. I have plenty with white. So it's not like I'm going to, you know, be crazy about killing him. Because he's an infinite raid position if I need it in the future. What are we listening to? Oh, Tenet. Okay. 
White's back in the game. Would you look at that? Oh boy. <laughs> yep, White's back. Oh my god. <laughs> this <is> fraud. <laughs> Blood out genius. It's not really working that well though. Because it's not really done anything yet. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you have to. It's it's the second time. Uh what's it called? Cheating. Bought out strat. I mean, I'm glad he's back. I'd rather have him in the game instead of botting out. Holy frick. Red, whoa. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I've... Because, like, when I was at 1,500 troops, I had 1,000 on cap and 500 off. And then I skipped, like, three cards, so that's, like, a whole 500 troops, basically. So a thousand troops difference makes sense, I guess. Yeah, dude. I'm surprised he went through orange though. That honestly, wow. White's here in the game. I'm surprised red didn't remove white. What's the benefit from botting out? Is it just remaining players won't want to waste troops hitting on the bot? Yeah, that's exactly why. They'd rather attack a person than the bot. Like for instance, we're in a three player end game and it's between me, black, white, and yellow. Yellow bots out. I'm gonna start tar targeting white, right? I'm gonna start targeting white because he's the last player alive and I can take on the bot easily in the end game if I want to. Like it's not it's not it's not a problem taking on the bot at the end. Yeah, that music at that point was freaking intense. When red came down with that three thousand, I was like, oh shoot! I thought for a second I was done for. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's gonna hit my cap. I mean, I want him to lose like double, but most of the time they're they're getting good dice, and it's like stupid. So like, I don't want him to hit me. If that makes sense. I don't want to take that chance because either way I'm losing a thousand troops. Yeah. <laughs> like this is just random songs. I'm not even picking these out. Like this is freaking this is freaking good. Did white bought out again? Oh my god, that's the third time. Like, I don't want him to leave, but he might have the... He's been getting... Did he get a card when he came back, though? That's the question. Because if he didn't, he has the glitch. And he can't play. He actually can't come back in the game if he has the glitch, actually. Never mind. It won't let him back in if you have the glitch.
Blue's getting 19. This must be hardcore mode. I know, that's what I'm freaking thinking too. This is freaking crazy. When I only, when I was getting blocked by the bot, I thought I was in serious trouble. Cuz the blue blue player has to deal with the bot. That's why. The bot's mostly attacking on the right side and not and not at all in France because of the caps. So he has to deal with the bot. And I'm getting free cards. I don't know where White's at though. Oh shoot, there he is. So right now, red's not open to the cap in the bottom. I might remove white just to make sure that he isn't open to that. I'm going to try something. Like this. Because obviously that's not the all of white. White has the cap and the stack and the top. And I was also hoping he'd actually go and take out white in the top maybe, but red's too smart. It must be too big to kill. I'll kill green. Don't worry, guys. When I get the opportunity, I swear, I'm going to kill him now. He decided not to trade with me. I'm going to frick him over. Frick that guy, am I right? White stacks. Why would it put so much here? What the frick? Huh? I am so confused by that. What the heck? Why does it place so much right there? I am so confused. What the frick? No Italy, no win. It doesn't have the other position. Why is Red laughing? What the heck? Oh, he's wondering. He's wondering how White's getting cards. <laughs> He's like, White got cards. No, it, it, I mean, I'm not being card blocked. I have cards. I'm fine.
Yeah, honestly, that's not something anyone would ever predict that the bot would just add so much over here in Rome. Maybe it has literally no cards anywhere else, or because of the stack being here, it doesn't think that it's like good or something. I don't freaking know. Nine sixty nine. Look at that. I'm never removing white, by the way. I want those cards in case red chooses not to trade. This game's been going for two hours and 30 minutes. Oh wait, you didn't hear me when I said that? This game has been going as long as the stream has been going. Uh oh. White did trade. Yeah, we'll put him back in Italy. And block him. Yeah, we'll put him back in Italy and block him up there. I'm trying to make sure Red has no access to the bottom by blocking him from coming through Gascony and Rabat. Yeah, this is this is the classic game. I haven't played one of these in a while. Hmm. I can't believe everyone's still alive though. That that surprises me the most. Yeah, green's not really alive, I agree. See how white takes this one. I mean, I'd be where green's position is right now. I never would have opened the cap in his position. When he had the chance to open, I wouldn't have opened it. I think I would have kept skipping like he was. Never take the opportunity to take a card. We... He's only up on the top. Doesn't take a card. Oh, frick. Yeah, 
It took a card. Oh, shoot. It took a card. Oh, shoot. Wow. Hmm. No, it wasn't on two before its turn. It was on one. It definitely took a card. So in this position, you must know, I will be hitting the red two. Because I don't want red to be behind me. I don't accept that at all. <laughs> he knows he wants to hit white out he wants to hit white out colorblind man Hey, what's up, man? Drop the nuke? No. <laughs> He's also trying to make that exterior. I'm going to remove the Horteen. He wants to create a stack behind just hate steal the cat from me. Like, it's so obvious. That I can't hit his troops, and then he'll just try to take the cat from me. Like, I'm, I'm not playing that game. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's definitely most of white. He could kill white. He could do it. Kill orange? I do not believe so. He's got to be huge on this side of the board. I faked the attack on white. Get to a dark night. The worst thing could happen is white trades in here. Hmm. Gigi's a faker. <laughs> oh boy.
Who wants to add that? Who would attacks Alps? Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Red's open now. Gigi's an alien. He's a part of a conspiracy. Oh well. If you watch the vlog. <clears throat> <laughs> I play space maps. I do. The heck? White wants the bonus, that is for sure. Just hope it doesn't attack out. I could take the ring cap, yeah. It's an option. It's not off the table. Green's never going to open again, that's for sure. Don't attack the f don't attack the two Rick. <laughs> yeah, Red's like, oh my god. <laughs> oh bro. Come on, Red, kill white. That would be amazing if he did it. If I would have kept the block in Italy, I think it would have went well. Let's see if red does it. I think he might. Nope. Well, I gotta remove that. I can't have him in there. Well, if white is still in there, it will try and add everything up there, but it's annoying that he removed him. Because I know he did that on purpose. He keeps going in and out of focus. Okay, I need to set up then. Oops. 
surprised. I didn't want to kill White. Oh no. Oh frick. Yep, he's not trading with me. He did it on purpose, the whole thing. Yep. Red's kind of smart. I hate this dude. I hate this. He did that whole thing on purpose to get rid of white so that I'd have to deal with him. I think I have enough cards to be okay, though. I'm fairly sure. Red, red removed white on purpose, but I'm going to get more cards from white here soon anyway, so it doesn't matter. Without red, I trade with white. His plan was to remove white so I don't have free cards. I'm just going to get those cards back again. It doesn't matter. He should have just killed white. I don't know why he didn't. That would be the best case scenario for him. It's way easier after white's gone. In his position, I would have killed white as well. There's a scat there's a cap in Denmark. Oh my god, Zadler. Well, wow, a whole year. That is crazy. My gosh. We'll take this card first. Every 14 turns, green gets 100 troops, 98 to be exact. So there's a cap in London, Ireland, Denmark, Bavaria, Sahara, and Trieste. Maybe Red's taking the cap behind? I don't know. He's getting five.
You are offered a deal. You have 30 minutes to hide paperclip in your house. At the end of the 30 minutes, the FBI is going to come and search your house for 12 hours. If they don't find that said paperclip, which marked? You win $10 million. Where would you hide it? The paperclip can be, can't be destroyed, torn apart, or broken in any way. You can unfold it and hide it any way you want, but it has to stay in your home and can't hide it in the person's where you are hiding it. I would build 30 minutes. I can't do it in 30 minutes. Frick. What would I do then? I'd probably flush it down the drain, to be honest. <laughs> flush it down the toilet. That's all I'd do. I just go straight to the toilet, flush it down it. That's it. I would straight up just flush it down the toilet. <laughs> like I don't know what else you want me to do. I think that's that's all I'd do. Unless that's against the rules, I would just I would just flush it. Easy ten mil, yeah. I think it's pretty simple. Yeah, but it's ten million dollars, Jay Shroom. The frick, go buy yourself another house. I think it's important that when you do do that, you take the whole 30 minutes to do the hiding. But yeah. What's the punishment if they find it? Have a candle that refills the wax as it used. I'd hide it in there. No, they're going to use like metal detectors and stuff. That's why I'm not going to use some, put it anywhere close to the walls or anything like that. I would definitely just shove, shove it down the toilet. I can live with that for a chance at 10 mil as well. I think it's the best place to put it, to be honest. Yeah, see, but you can you can hide it behind stuff all you want in like the house and the doors. But there's no point. They they'll have metal detection to find it. Yeah, it's not going to work. Mm. 
Bruh. Deflate car tire, stick it inside, reinflate, easy 10 mil. <laughs> See, but the, that's what, that goes back to the freaking metal detectors, man. It doesn't matter. I guess there is already metal inside the tires, but that's a good play. But it, it's not inside the house. If they include that, sure, but it's not inside the house. Unless it maybe it was in the garage. I, I yeah, I guess it could be in the garage, yeah. I'm telling you, hidden in plain sight along with 10,000 paper clips. 12 hours is not enough time to manually sort through all of them. Yeah. I mean, that works. Yeah. That works. If you have a million. Yeah. That is true. The thing is, you have to figure out a way to identify your paper clip, I think, right? Yeah, but you gotta, how are you going to know which one it is? <laughs> you know? They just pick them all up and leave. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. They're going to find it regardless because it's literally right there. They'll just pick up all the paper clips. Yeah, how is Greensill in this game? I I don't know, man. Yeah, they can find out which one it is later. Like it doesn't matter. They have the paperclip, right? I agree. They just pick up all the paperclips and leave. Bring it out of the house. Yo, what the frick? Did blue go through white? <laughs> that's how big he is? There's no way that's all blue. Dude. Bro, what? <laughs> like, the way these two players are playing, man, it's so weird. What the frick? They're trying to get white away from me so I don't get free cards, but like this is taking forever. No, they don't want to trade, bro. They want to get rid of me. Blue hit me hard enough, man. Blue hit blue hit a 500 stack of mine. It's obvious he's trying to get rid of me.
the white ball will just keep expanding again. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to say. They need to kill blue and orange. Or orange and white. Why did he risk a 3v1? What the heck? Oh, you want to know the caps are? Yeah, we have London cap, my original, green's original, Ireland, orange's original, Denmark, red's original, Bavaria, blue's original, Triest, white's original, Sahara. I'm not going to go look around. I don't want to. Oh, shoot. Well, how convenient. Wow. Cheese, man. Donny Moe's my best friend. <laughs> hey, Greens Cap? Yeah, I need. I want to kill him. But it's not the right moment. I'm not ready yet. I think I'll kill him very soon. Not going to lie. I mean, the trades are you're catching up to him. No, Green's choosing not to take a card because he knows I'll just kill him. White set on three.
Oh my god, Red's trading with me. Oh my god. Yeah, Red and Blue have been best friends most of the time. Red's like actually attacking my territory for once. I'm not taking the bonus, I'm gonna attack White. They really don't know how to play this. I'm gonna try something this coming trade. Oh shoot. Whoa. Oh my god, why did that? Yo, white just hit something. I think it might have been orange. Orange getting thirteen? As all that, yeah. Okay. Orange is definitely bigger, I think. Unless they've knocked him down a lot. Yeah, I'm taking the white pass. Absolutely. Green's gonna die soon. White is back? No. Oh my god. Dude. Huh? What? He bots out one more time, he can't come back. If you, I don't know if you guys know this, but how the bot, how um, the game works is they don't allow you to come back to the game after three times of botting out. Oh yeah, please open my cab. No? Okay. Oh. What? Oh my god. <laughs> oh shoot, dude. Oh shoot. I can't. Oh my god. This is so funny. He's actually moving the troops too. Oh man. Oh shoot. This is so funny. <laughs> like he's in the game. Look at this. <laughs> He's in the freaking game. Guys, I need somebody in, in my freaking comments of this video to please, please put a timestamp of all the times he bought out and how long it was from each timestamp to each timestamp. Like my last game, I need to know. I need to know. This is freaking crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> I already reported him once. I mean, I'm not going to do anything to green because of white now. Put a 2400 up here. Back down here. Do that. Red's not taking a card off me. Look at this. What? Huh? The freak? Now you're not taking a card off me.
Where are blue and orange on the right side? They're all over there. There's only two ways to get through there, and that's through the very center. There's two territory opening. Oh shoot, white's smacking. Oh my goodness. <laughs> of course, the music picks up, yeah. The music we're listening to is from uh, The Dark Knight Rises, third movie in the series of Batman in the 2000s. White went back to Burgundy. <laughs> what the frick? It's like he's trying to block me or something. But the trades are getting closer and closer to Green's uh, cap size. You can see how close it is now. 545 and his stack is 565. It's getting close, man. I'm gonna hit the red five. It's his bonus. He has to guard it. I mean, I'm going to start hitting white. He's a player in the game now. I could do that. I could do that. I, mean, I wasn't thinking about doing that at all, really. I don't think he's tempted to hit anything at all, to be honest. I mean, come on, the trades are literally his cap size. I, I don't think he's even tempted at all to do something like that. People are interested in going through white to see what the heck's going on. Yeah, blue blue and red definitely went through to see what the heck's going on down there. Orange died. Whoa. What is white doing? What the frick is that? Dude, what is he doing? Bro, what? Why is he doing that? I don't get that, dude. That makes no sense. Yeah, I expected red to be pretty big. Red's gonna kill white now?
Red has this cap. Look at that, guys. Red has Denmark. Yeah, red has Denmark. Holy crap. Yeah, red can block blue easily, I agree. It's a one point block. He's got a lot of the right side anyway. Since there's only one person on the right side, yeah. Opens me up. Thank you. Yeah, keep going. Oh my god. Oh, you're so amazing. Oh my gosh, White. I love you. Holy frick. Oh my goodness, I love White. Can you just Capra? That's a great idea, honestly. Moves red. White to the rescue, my man. He really wants this cap? Holy frick. Dude, what? I meant to hit Paris that time. Red has the white behind him, doesn't he? Wait, he only got nine. And he attacked from Prussia. He doesn't have Denmark. White? Definitely has his cap and bonus. White definitely has his cap. Yeah. Green is still in the game, Carter. The trades are getting close to him as well. White's just attacking everything. Yeah, White's like attacking everything behind on the outside. White started with 17 and he just slammed red with 50. Oh shoot. Dude, if he slams red, I get the kill. Actually, I do not kill him. Yeah. I would not kill him here. <laughs> now this is a JJ game. You know it kilted. 5,500 from red. What's he doing? 
back into the top right. Yeah, I don't know how any of this makes sense. Blue's getting 22. I'm going to assume blue, blue has generic southeastern orient this section. It doesn't have Russia and Eastern Europe. Red getting seven though. Red can't have this cap. Because we saw him holding Netherlands. Red can't have Denmark. It doesn't make sense. White would have to be in Rhine or something, and that's weird. Because red would have the bonus. We've seen him attack off Prussia so many times. Also, green it, greens in the chat. HMU for a gift sub. If greens in the chat, you get a gift sub from Carter. You hear that, green? Over green, then a ban. Carter, a ban's not gonna work, bro. I don't ban people. I bet you freaking won. I finally got in your game and this garbage happened. Don't mess around, bro. Come on. Carter, don't give him a sub. He's probably li he's lying to you, I bet. Another bot out? I mean, he's not coming back if he bots this time. He's gone. He's officially gone, guys. He's not coming back. Bottom VIP him and ban him. Man, that's a good idea, bro. Mod green. V give him VIP and then ban him from my chat. <laughs> <laughs> you can't return anymore. He's done. You can't return to the game. I mean, look at Green's cap. Now look at the trade. Look how close it is to his cap size. Oh, Red has the cap now. Oh, frick. Red has the cap now. Blue's interested in what's going on. Yeah, I know, but over time, actually, you know what? It's actually gaining in his favor at the moment, slowly by one troop because the orange died. And he's no longer trading in now. It's every 20 troops. Instead, it used, it used to be every 25 with orange being in the game. Now it's every 20. So it's actually in green's favor. If I want to get rid of green, now is, now is better than, than ever. I'm using this by every three turns. Green gets 21. And every three turns, the trades go up by 20. Because... You got red, blue, white, and me getting cards every t every turn, right? And it, we trade every three turns. It's five troops more that is added to the trade in value. So getting rid of green is better than ever right now. I don't have your kill. What? Yeah, you're dead, dude. I'm killing you. This is the first time green didn't take his turn fast.
No, he's not, but I'm going to kill him anyway. Get rid of players in the game. No, no, no. The trades are not worth it. You got to understand, his cap is always going to be bigger than the set now, from now on. So getting rid of him now is the best time, troop-wise. You're going to call me a clown? Really? The disrespect. My goodness. The green only gets a sub if he bots out right now. <laughs> Carter, you, you are such a, oh my God. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, dude, Carter, you evil guy. <laughs> you freaking evil guy. Oh boy. There's no way Green's in Savastopol, let's be honest. Yeah, see, he's not botting out. No, we never checked. I never checked it, I don't think. I don't remember looking around. Hack and add Vorgate a cap now. <laughs> Ruthless wants he wants him to survive. Oh man. Go ahead, suicide me, man. It doesn't matter either way. I really don't. He's not gonna do it. Let's be honest. He's just gonna. He's just gonna skip. Like let's let's be honest. He's just saying that in chat. See, I told you. Johnny, last chance, bro. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jeez, man.
Might as well get a free sub out of it. <laughs> Carter and Jack. He's just like, just take it. Just take the sub. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, dude. I mean, I'm going to roll the cap. There's no doubt. I wonder if he bots out now. And dude has nothing to say in chat. Obviously, it's not you then, man. It's definitely not you in chat. Like, come on. <laughs> like, I, I knew that. You're just making it up. It's fine. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to kill him. I'm not going to kill him yet. No way he actually bought it. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. How is white pack? What? No. No way. How is that possible? How did White get into the game? I don't want to give Green any cards. I think I'll just sit it like this. I don't want him to have the extra troops from the bonus either. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. All right. For everyone here, I'm going to make a little update real quick. On Wednesday coming up this week, I'm posting a video about a vlog I made going to Pete's house. Um, I'm posting that on Wednesday. Like I usually, the same time I usually post my videos. Um, so if you're interested in seeing the trip and uh, us hanging out and laughing and having fun, I would, I would highly encourage you guys to go and watch that on Wednesday morning. It is my first vlog ever. You'll see the people in the video will be Mallory, Olive, Kilted, Digitalic, Becky with the good hair, and Pete. So you will get to see Digitalic in that in that video. So I know he's not posting any any uh, videos on YouTube, but I thought I'd point that out to you guys. Maybe you'd be interested in seeing that. And it's my first vlog. I want to promote it. You know. So.
White bots out again. This is the fourth time. This is the fourth time by White. I'm surprised he was able to get back in. I, I don't know how that's even possible. At this point, I think White's trolling. No, it's not just in case Green's elsewhere. I'm just getting rid of him. I'm keeping him in this position. Will white bot? I'm not doing that prediction. No. He keeps coming back, hoping his bot is one. That's not how this works, bro. Uh, since I've started the stream, Sap, Sipid, we're at three hours and 40 minutes now. Okay. Thanks, dude. Th these are the kind of games I aspire for anyway. They're my favorite games. You played three games in 90 minutes. Now you're in the stream watching. <laughs> Over, under, on bot. Outs for white. 5.5. No, dude, he can't. There's no way he can come back. There's, I'm serious. There's no way. I've never seen anyone come in, back, come in and out of the game so many times. I swear. It's always ended at three. I've never seen it go to four before. Like I've even tested it many, many times. I've tested this many times. You aren't able to come back. Never been able to for real. Yeah, I know. And that's why it doesn't make any sense. He was able to come back four times. What the frick? Five tier subs. Thank you. M MNGA. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Five. Wow. Thanks, bro. So nice of you for real. Thank you, man. White is just a poor Ugandan tobacco farmer trying to harvest his crops and beat GMs on spot of spotty internet. The king we deserve. The frick? You guys think he'll come back? I, I don't think so. I think this is it. I also have, I don't know if you know, along with the vlog that I made going to Pete's house, we also played a in real life risk game. And uh, I have the video of it and I'm going to post that as well in the future. So not only, not only did I make a vlog, 
I have a vid I have the video of us playing that game, but obviously the quality isn't going to be that great for that game because because it's like a game board and you can't see everything very well and you not everyone's around the board the whole time. So it's not going to be clean and good quality to watch. It won't be like something everyone's going to be wanting to watch, but I'm planning on editing it and getting it ready to to be posted. Playing Risk in real life, yes. And it's a seven player game. It's me, Kilted, Digitalic, Becky, Mallory, and Pete. All seven of us playing Risk on the board game. And it's a unique map that we made, that Pete made. He took two regular Risk boards and put one upside down and connected it to each other and made the Alaskas and the Australias and the South Americas connect to each other from the opposite ends. It's very unique. And we also added the moon into it. So I think that you guys would enjoy watching that game, knowing how, like, because, like, we all played together. But the fact that how the game was uh, videoed, you know, it's kind of difficult to watch a game like that. I'm still going to post it for the interest of the people who want to see it, but I'm just making you guys all aware that it's going to be difficult to watch. Is that Rufus and Doofus? Oh my God. I haven't seen you in forever, man. Rufus and Doofus. My dude. What time is this? CET? What are you talking about? What time is it for me? Or what? Four. Four, four times botting out and coming back. Four times. I mean, if I'm wrong, the comment section can correct me, but I know it's been four times. Seven. I'll take my points now. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, man. You want to see all the 69s IRL? Uh, there are a couple. There are a couple 69s, yeah. There will be a couple, but it's not like you see the number. It's just... They they use different dice. It's it's a unique setup. You, you probably have never seen anything like it before. That's why I'm saying it's not going to be the most enjoyable watch. But I will we'll edit it down to what is the most important highlights and all. And it's going to be a long video as well. So that's why I'm still posting it for the thrill of it happening. I think it's just important. <laughs> thank you for the 100 bits, bro. And Carter, thank you for the bits. I forgot to say that. Thank you guys both. <laughs> you paused risk for a while and now you're back. Well, that's good to hear at least, man. You know what? For the memes, we'll do this. I'll even do this too. You guys go. You guys can meme over that. <laughs> Mm 
I was getting seven. He still has white behind him. So because of that, I'm never, never going to remove white. No matter what, just knowing that right now white is behind red, I will never take the chance of removing white and failing the kill ever because red's trying to keep the kill guard. Yeah. Yeah, I have two free cards anytime I need them. Plus, I can trade with green. And if I ever need a card, what I'll do is I'll hit the top left of Iceland and fortify that stack back to my main cap and let the bot come through and hit all four of those territories, giving me more cards. So... Green is a bot, yeah, dude. He botted. Because I stole his cap, then he botted. He can still come back to the game if he wants, but... Red's interested in seeing what's going on. Why does it matter if I mean the green or not? He chose a bad cap. That is all on him, man. He's the one who did this to himself. I did nothing to I did nothing to him to get rid of him yet in the early game. And when I got to and I removed his cap because it was the best time to do it. Because in the future it'll be it will be more difficult to do it. Green's too good of a player to leave him in this game. So I'm trying to progress it a little bit. Yeah, he had his chance. I would have traded with him. I would have. I was going to let him be alive and I wasn't going to kill him. But in his case, I would have never opened the cap ever. Not once. Interesting to see that red was attacking white a little bit. I never said he's too good because he card skipped. That's not, I'm just saying he's making all the right plays. That's it. He's too good for me to want to let him be alive because he was making all the right plays. He never made a mistake. So, but you can also argue that him opening my cap for one card was also a mistake. Let's check it. You could also argue that that was, but when he saw my stack, he never opened it again. He, he made a lot of good plays, but his cap was terrible. And if he didn't choose that bad cap, he probably would have been fine because he's a good player. He definitely could have been playing very well here. Like if, if green, if red ever hits me, it's suicide for him because it's a chance that he loses enough that I can just kill him the next on my turn. So like if red ever hits me, it's going to hurt him. I'm waiting for white to attack me. I'm surprised it hasn't yet.
69 on white. Um, there's not much I can do at the moment. I have to just take a card and pass because red and blue are like working together. And they're both pretty good too. After blue hit removing me from out here, I can tell that blue and red are playing very well, especially with red blocking orange in the very early game very quickly. It's a 1v1. We're in a 1v1 with blue. Oh my god. Chat. Red botted. Holy frick. What the frick, guys? I can't take the Bavaria cap. I have to go through red to get it. That's not worth it at the moment. What is blue doing? Did he even get a card? Yeah, I think he got a card. What the frick is going on? Blue has 17 a turn. He doesn't have Orient. Or he doesn't have... No, he doesn't have a Daenerys. He has Orient and he has Southeastern, but he doesn't have a Daenerys. Because Red broke. Blue's confused as... Just as confused as I am. I mean, I'm going to keep trading on the outside until I don't have to anymore, and then I'll trade with green. I'm going to treat, keep trading with white until I can't. That's the best way to explain that. You don't think blue got a card? Blue did not get a card, I checked. Okay. Because I saw him attacking, but I didn't notice the card go up and down. Or go up, at least. I didn't see it go up. That's why I was like, wait, did he even get a card? It didn't even look like it. It doesn't make a difference at all to the game, really, but it's just something that I, is good to notice. It was his red's first bot out as well. Did not expect that. Red's start to the game made me think he was going to be in for the long haul. Keep paying attention to red. No, we're not going to give green a card for a while. Red's going to destroy white, that is for sure. Yeah, we're at four hours. It's very likely it could be a five hour game, but it really depends on how what blue does because he decides this game as long as red is gone. Blue decides how this game ends, so. 
if blue knows how to play this game in the end game then he'll be fine The end of the uh, movie song is going on right now. And then we'll be going into Batman v Superman music. Why did White wait till the end of his turn? Did he come back? Glitch. Whoa. Guys, did White come back in the game? I never even looked. I never looked. Glitch. Glitch. It's his turn again. Okay. So white came back. Is that what it, is that what we're getting out of that right there? White came back in the game because that's the only way it would have waited to the end. Right? White came back in the game then. Am I wrong? That counts as a comeback? Okay. So that's five comebacks then. Five comebacks for white. There's no way that was even possible unless white would come back in the game. Yeah, we're at five. We're at five comebacks now. Meanwhile, white and chat. I'm going to get free points. <laughs> One more in the overhits, yeah, you're right. Red's not back. Red is red is still a bot. Blue is still in the game. Oh, shoot. Holy crap. Wow. Blue sets on three. It's very clearly a 1v1 between Wayne Blue, me and Blue right now, by the way, guys. This is very clearly a 1v1 between me and Blue. <clears throat> All I'm saying is no UK, no win, and I... Yeah, exactly. Blue's the only player in this game with me. And we won't know if he takes caps, because we already have... We already have three. So he might he might have the cap right now. But there's too many troops in front of me to make a move. Yeah, I'm surprised white isn't hitting all my ones. I don't understand. He might be on the outside where blue's at, maybe in top right. Russia and stuff like that. White's hitting me now. I feel pretty safe in the bottom, so I'm adding more up top. Because I think it's more important to add up there at the moment. I started with 19. 17 before, so they got more this time. Mm. Round 90. Yep, 91. This game has gone so slow because of the bots. They take forever on their turns. 
I'm surprised red hasn't hit white and Brittany. Yeah, unless it doesn't get a card. If the bot doesn't get a card, it'll fortify. It will fortify stacks until it gets a card. So it will stay next to your stack unless it can't get a card or... Yeah, sometimes it's like weird moves to make it fortify away because it thinks it can fortify a stack to um, hit a cap or something or something like breaking a bonus. It, it's It's different attacks once it gets to a certain... Like if it... Like for instance, if this 2000 attacks to the right, sees blues, like maybe a 10,000 stack, for instance, it might fortify more troops to it because it's like wanting to put more there. I don't know. Sometimes it's weird. White's only taking one card at a time. Very odd. White's also getting seven. Interesting, I must take. I must say. Yeah. Exactly why I'm stacking in London more than I am in the bottom. Because they have to go through a 1500 just to get to me. So there's no point in me stacking the bottom at all. It's better for me to stack everything in the top in London. And I still have cards with white, so I'm not trading with green. Really? I could get two extra troops a turn if I just conquered Iceland? Bruh! Blue's getting 18. 24 at one point. 18. 16. 17. Not really sure if he has the cap or not. Based on that with red... 19, now 11, 17, then 19, then 16, then 19, 16, then 17, then 19, then 11. Okay, white takes two cards this time. Yeah, I think blue is also as well. I don't get why red isn't hitting white, though. White must be really big if red is not, you know? White must be really big if red's not just hitting white straight up. Red only gets 10 this time. I'm really surprised red's not hitting out white from France or something. White also traded in last turn and did not add much in the bottom left where I'm at. So it's adding somewhere else. It's probably next to a bigger cap. I'm surprised. Like, everything's being added somewhere else. Like, why is it not being added next to me? 
and the 2311 staying here, but my cap is there. It's also possible because of that that there's a cap on Bavaria. Blue sets on three again. Again. Blue attacking a lot. Blue is attacking a lot. Whoa. Blue started with 25. He's attacking a lot. I'm thinking he's getting the two-point hold and he has Bavaria. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm not making moves because I know. Once green gets to 50, we need to start adding to the 69 again. So I'll do it on not this trade, but the next one. I'll add a hundred to it. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna kill him. That's the first time green ever added to the... You guys see this? It added to there, and he still bought it out. The frick? Red trade's still a bot, red is. Oh shoot, finally. Finally that happened. Yeah, I'm going to need green at this point. Forty. Forty. Yeah, forty, dude. He's got the whole right side. Somebody want to do the math on that? And we can assume that he has generic plus four plus four. That's 16. 22, 24, 26, 28, 31. And then the territory counts the whole thing. He's got all of it. I think he has all of it, guys. I think he has... Hmm... It's the Scandi and Russia part is probably iffy. I don't think he might not have that, but he has literally all of this. You get to like 31 with this cap, this cap, and this cap, and all the bonuses. He, I don't think he has this though. And white's not attacking over here. He's got seven. White's definitely up there with the stacks. He's getting seven. Wait, let's let's think about with white. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Seven troops. And he's not card skipping? Okay. Red attacks white here, loses a bunch. Oh frick. 
Okay. White's in right, because white red attacked up. So he's got 11. What the frick? Yeah, he doesn't have the cap. He's behind, though. He has the bonus. I, I'm going to predict he gets six this turn. Three for re regular troops per turn, and then three for the bonus. I think he gets six, because he was at 12 territories. And I think he gets six now. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If he gets if he gets seven, he has Ryan. He has the Ryan territory. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven is those territories. If he's in Ryan, it's yeah. He's been removed from the top. He's only in the bottom with me now. Holy crap. Blue's been doing a lot of stuff, guys. Oh, no. White trades on three. No. Dude. What terrible f timing, dude. What the frick? Yeah, that's all white. That's all the white right there. Oh, my God. Wow. He held Italy? Mm, no, I think he had the 12 territory and he was in Scandi. I really truly believe that. I think Red will help me out with this and just knock him down because he's super weak. I got a 74 for a card. Or if I want to hit green in the top, I have a card there too. Yeah, I guess I take this, this over here. Let me go back to cap here. Let the bot go through and hopefully take all the way to the cap. No, I'm not hitting white. Oh, frick. Sorry. Blue getting 52. Yeah, he's definitely got it all. But yeah, he's got everything. And this is all of red and white. He has all of it, dude. I don't think it matters, Micro. Green should skip here. <laughs> Rufus. <laughs> it doesn't matter, uh, Micro, if if he gets a card or not. There's no way. It's possible white's up here, but blue definitely has all of it. Because he's getting a lot per turn. Come on, one more. Victory. There we go, guys. He doesn't fortify to me. Oh, shoot. That extra 10 troops for me? Nine? Guys, what the frick? Nine? I lost nine on a 26. I lost nine on a 26. Blue's definitely got to deal with red as well, so this is going to be interesting. Red gets a card. Blue's turn. 52 again. Yeah, I know. There's a very low chance Blue's big enough to do this. 
Blue keeps attacking red too. So he's losing troops by attacking him. Holding the 52 a turn does not matter at all. Jet, there's nothing I can do if I'm not next to blue, bro. If white comes back, what the frick? <laughs> I mean, if white skips here, we know, bro. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I know. Blue is always hitting a huge stack of red. I'm aware. Red's not hitting white at all, and white skips. And the bot's going to fortify to here. I don't like that, but it didn't fortify from before, so... Also, see how it's still three out of six? He definitely has it all. That's a it's a confirmation that blue has all three caps: Denmark, Bavaria, and Triest. Ooh, sixty nine has to be sixty nine. We lost twenty. We lost twenty extra troops. It doesn't matter. We're already this big, you know. Blue is having to hit a lot of red right now, and that's a huge thing to remember. Micro, you're so funny. You kill red and white, you win the game, JJ. Oh my god. Oh my god, you win the game. I'm waiting for red to hit white a little bit. Give white cards? That's a good idea. I like that actually. But I need to hit I need to hit green one more time because I need to make sure he's not getting any more troops. Gotta put him back in that position. White's already car blocked. Big box can be really good car blockers. Yeah. I'm surprised white isn't fortifying to the red territory. If blue's smart, he car blocks red and keeps hitting him. Red's on 12. Oh, shoot. Red sets on three. Well, we can only hope that red's going to smack blue, right? 2,000 troops right here. Well, let's pay attention. Oh, 
Red gets a card. Blue's still getting 52. Wow, dude. I mean, you're kind of right about removing white. But red isn't doing anything. I guess I could bait blue into hitting my cap in the bottom. If I go through red and I show him my cap, he comes down and looks and hits it. That could be a good bait. Yeah, kilted it is. And white is killable. He's only been adding down next to me, so it's pretty obvious this is all of him. <laughs> kilted. I'm I'm very I'm very cautious, okay man. Alright. Nah, you're right. I should kill white. I should kill white. Good dice, holy frick. Oh, dude, look at all those horses. This is early game for JJ. Yeah, don't rush him. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh shoot, red starts attacking my way. Whoa. Yo, dude. Oh man, blue must be trying to block him in the top. This is crazy. And green, I can kill green at any time, but I'm choosing not to. Blue's doing some attacks. Oh, he definitely went into France. Blue got how much? 52? Still 52, so he's letting red attack back. Blue also traded early. Uh, what do I got? I think I'm going to try something out. Oh my god. You know what? We leave that. Yeah. Because Red's going to take it. Frick. <laughs> So weak, dude. Look at this guy. Holy crap. And the red bot takes it. Yes. Oh, dude, this is so good. Oh, shoot. I almost hit that to split down here, but then I realized the red bot's just going to take it anyway. It don't matter. Oh, frick. Incoming blue bot, no shot. Come on, just hit it. Just hit it. Frick, yes, yes. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> Good game. Left with 2300. He's left with 2300. He left 500 on. Good game. Keep 
go in. Going through the cap, smack him. Three thousand exactly should be enough. No, I don't have time. We'll do this. I'm a I'll be fine. The bot will stack on it. Just what just wait. If I lose the green kill, oh well. The bot should take this cap. No, blue does not. He could have a 5k cap here and that could trick me. Yeah, I don't think it's going to do much here. I think I'm okay. Oh, no. If he sets, he gets the kill. Oh, shoot. Is blue blocked? He has this cap. Good game. He bought it. Oh my god, dude, dude, <laughs> dude, that's all he had. Oh, he's dead. We we kill him. Oh shoot, dude, that's crazy. I'm killing Green first. He deserves to die. Green for fourth place. Let's freaking go. We got this. I guess I could have ended the game with a cap run, but I didn't think about it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, guys. Oh, dude. There's a 50% chance JJ missed the... It was on a cap. Tilted. It, it was on a cap. What are you talking about? the frick <laughs> what it was on a cap bro no we didn't shut the frick up
We're gonna get this W the right way. Their chance. One percent unbalanced blitz. One percent, guys. Oh man. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. This was a wild one. And it ends. It ends with a good song. Jeez, man. I love the music and the ending. So we have a master, two masters, and three experts. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a wild one. That was a wild one. We are now 44th in the world in rank. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget about the vlog that I'm posting on Wednesday. I am really hyping this vlog up as much as I can. Thank you so much. I will see you guys later. Peace.